outside Washington, Nairobi has become the largest World Bank office globally outside Washington. Now, World Bank has been a major player uh, for the region, for Kenya. They want to consolidate and make this a regional hub. We cannot be stuck in the old ways. We must figure out what can we do because there's value in having this as the World Bank Hub. We can't go arguing over petty issues. We have to figure out how else, what can we really do? What can we stretch out to be able to make it a hub? These are the serious considerations we must make. Over and above that, we are in con uh, consultation with uh, the UNON uh, because UNON has also indicated that they want Nairobi to become their logistical and humanitarian hub. Now, if I was sitting in foreign affairs, which I am doing today, or even if any of my other critics who are sitting in foreign affairs, can you tell me that you would not want to make this a World Bank hub? Can you tell me that you would not want to make this a United Nations logistics and humanitarian hub? You would. So let us not engage in trivialities as a nation. We really need to look at these things objectively. And that is why we are also reviewing our foreign policy, to which my peers is uh, inviting stakeholders to, to make contributions. The globe has changed. If you are a school of, a student of international politics or international relations, 10 years ago or 30 years ago, please, let us face the reality. The dynamics have changed. We have also been taught a lesson by the Gen Zs. Things have changed. We had a, a previous attitude across Africa where civil society was perceived as an enemy of government. But we have all come to the realization that civil society is a strong partner. So, so, so we cannot be stuck in the old way of how we practiced our foreign relations, how we engaged. We have to look at the global dynamics, the changing, the new players that are coming in. Nairobi hosted the IDA 21 replenishment conference. It also hosted the AFDB annual meetings where they were looking for their 17th replenishment. And the appeal is that we need partners to make serious contribution because the governments, the IDA countries, 75 of them, Kenya being one of them, have basically reached the elastic limit in terms of physical space. We have to look for partners. We have to look for friends. And we need to be flexible, of course, within the parameters of the law. But we, and where the law does not make sense, that is why we have legislators and parliament, so that adjustments can also be made to laws and to enable us to move forward, so that we are able to overcome emerging challenges. So it is in this framework that we say that partnerships like the one we are launching today and others are critical because it is not possible today for us to continue on the old path. How much more can we tax? 
We are getting messages from every corner that go slow on the taxation. So what are the alternatives? The alternative is to look for other partnerships. <laughs>